Hey guys, for Second Realms here today with a new video, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install plugins with the bucket recommended version of 1.0.0. First off, you're going to want to go to this link in the description box to download the new release of bucket. It's a stable version, so there's still there will still be updates, but this one will work with more of the plugins than others. Just download it. It is a WinRAR file, so you will have to extract it somewhere. I'm just going to open with. You probably want to save it though. All it has is a one file in there with a dot jar file and a startup dot bat thing and another little text document. But anyways, let's get to how you install plugins. So you're going to want to go to bucket.org, which I will also have in the description box, and click on Get Plugins. They have hundreds, maybe thousands, yeah, probably thousands of plugins, and they're all subgroups right on the side. And so I'm just going to show you how to install one that will work. All right, right here, Essentials. You probably want this on your server. Alright, so you see all this. Now they're coming out with a new website called essentials.dev or, or essentials.dev or something like that. But you can mainly just use the same bucket.org website. Anyways, for essentials, you're going to want to go to essentials core download. And, okay, we got that. And essentials is done. And for essentials, you have to use WinRAR again. Anyways, uh, I already started that. Let me. So, anyways, you're gonna want to grab this and put it on your desktop. And whenever you do that, you're gonna get this, but without all these folders, you're gonna have this craft bucket right here, the start server, and README. So then you're gonna want to double click the start server. It's a batch file. And let's start it up, I guess. Oh, wait, well, let's edit our. Properties file, as you can see right here, it says properties file. That's what you want to edit. So now we get allow another. I'm just going to do that to false so then we have less lag. Allow flight false, unless you want people with a uh, mod to be able to fly. Um, quarry, <coughs> sorry. I think that's for like websites like mindstatus.net and planet Minecraft and stuff like that. Port, I'm going to change that just for this time. Um, not really sure yet what that is. Level C, you don't need to know. IP, just put your external IP or Hamachi IP right there, or any Hamachi that you know that you can can connect to, or other people can connect to. Whitelist, that's like a private server, only if uh, people that you select can be on it. Uh, online mode, right here, that's for, it's set to true, so only premium users would be able to log in the server. But if you set it to false, then people with the cracked version of Minecraft, which is the free version, would be able to log in. But be aware, they can log on to premium accounts also. PvP true. Alright, so game mode. Also, I got a question on that before. Um, if it's zero, that means that it's a survival server. If it's one, it's a creative server. So, yeah, keep that in mind. And that's all. Save it and double click the batch file. As you can see it's preparing everything. I thought I did it earlier so then it wouldn't take as long but I guess it doesn't want to. Let's just go in here and add essentials. Alright so we have all of these .jar files. You're going to want to copy them all and drag them in there. And that's how you add a plugin. Now, if your server's already on and you want to add a plugin, you just put it in there and type in reload on the CMD, and it will put it all in there and load the file. All right, so now we have essentials right here with all this new stuff. And this is the worth of items, upgrades, spawn, jail, a whole bunch of stuff. And I would recommend essentials. So now let's get on. Login. Multiplayer, direct connect. Ah. 
All right. So now you can see essentials. I guess it kind of, as you can see, it said welcome for second realm to the server. That's the essentials. The other one is just a normal server. But let me see. Uh, I haven't OP'd myself. Anyways, if you want all the commands on a server, go in this CMD or, yeah, CMD, and type in OP and then your name. See, now it says your OP. And game mode for second realms one. All right, so now with game mode one, you have all this. I would not put anyone else on your server in game mode one unless if they are your friend and you trust them. But if they're just a normal person, I would not do it. Or don't OP them just to save your server. Anyway, guys, this is Minecraft, the bucket stable version. And this is a pretty awesome looking world right here. Anyway, guys, I hope this worked for you guys. Have a good day. Please subscribe. Give me a funky ass bracelet.